What's up? Welcome back to another video um, where we talk about we do nothing but paint. Um, if you guys haven't been following the last few videos, right now I'm doing a series of metal and aluminum panels for a charity for mental health awareness that we're going to be donating to have them auction off and raise some money for the mental health awareness. Um, so. Go back and watch the video before this to get up to date. I think there's two below this one. Um, on this video, that's gonna be a little bit more in depth. We're gonna start punching back the dark areas and then we're gonna start bringing the lights out. So just by doing this, I've already actually started in an area to show you guys just how much of an effect this has by putting in a really, really dark color against a really, really light color if you apply it correctly. And it looks really, really cool. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys this. I'm gonna get the camera all set up. So in just a few seconds, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so I've already got, all I've pretty much done was took some of the original blue that we used the really with the white that we added, and I've just strictly poured this in and over-reduced it just a little bit. Um, I over reduce it because I like to use really low air pressure, especially in these tight areas, trying to get these little lines. Some people like to blast it. I like to turn it down. That way I can get really, really close and I can guide and control the paint a little bit better than if I crank it wide open and blast it. Um, especially in these little tiny areas. It works really, really well for that. And then another case why I over reduce it a lot um, is because I can add layers and build it up. It doesn't go too dark too quick for me. And same way if I'm using any other color, I pretty much put over reduce it. Um, that way I have a little bit more control um, over what I'm doing. So yeah, I've just pretty much put the blue in that we started with to add to make this light blue color. And I've just strictly put it in there, over reduced it. And I started doing punching out and punching back the colors, you know, like the really dark areas, like the skull right here, for instance. So. Um, we're going to continue just punching all this out and pushing it back. And just by doing that, it's totally going to change the look of this whole thing without even adding any detail or going in and shading anything. We're just going to start following, you know, use your reference guide and strictly follow where the darkest areas are. Don't devi deviate from that and you'll just, you'll do just fine. Um, so that's what we're going to continue doing. So here we go.
this is what we have going on now pretty much going through everything with the blue just straight up over reduced um, the next step is to actually really stay true to these really dark dark areas and bump it up um, and get it to be almost like a really really dark blue like I said it's this blue is really really dark and we're still not there um, just because I've over reduced it um, instead of sitting there going back and forth until I get that brightest blue that I can I'm gonna just mix it up normal and not use as much reducer that way it's the color and the pigments there instead of reducing it because once we reduce these colors it doesn't spray the true true blue blue or the true pigment because um, you're pretty much breaking it down over time and it allows you to build up those areas so we're going to mix this up again not use as much reducer and we're going to get really really dark um, this should almost look kind of like a black inside of here like a really dark dark navy blue so um, that's the goal then after we get that done we run through this um, we're going to be uh going back in with the white um so and then we're going to start chiseling out all these little details in this image so um that's the next plan um don't mind the fingernail polish it's actually stickers the wife thought it'd be fun to do my fingernails today so i'm working with that um but other than that yeah this is where we're at it's looking really really good and now it's time to just chisel it back further and then work our way back with the lights and work our way back up to the darks. So I want to take some time, stop, um, and kind of go over yet with you guys what I'm doing here um, as far as using this really, really dark blue. Um, you can tell where I put it. It's a little bit darker. Like I said, it's almost black um, than what the blue that we originally put down. Um, so what I'm doing is, is I'm just really following my reference and looking at the darkest dark areas. And I'm kind of just going around and almost putting it back down the way I did this blue. But instead of just filling everything in, I'm just kind of feather edging it out and shading it. Um, that way it's not just all one dark panel. Um, and this kind of sets a contrast between everything else. And when we go back in with the lighter colors, everything that's white right now will get some shading done in those light colors. Um, almost like the horns right here. It'll be a little bit lighter than this in some areas, a little bit darker, but... Um, it's going to make everything um, in the, the foreground pop more because everything in the background is pushed back so far that once you get everything, little details done like that, it'll really push everything out. So it's turning out really, really awesome. And like I said, you can kind of tell right here what I'm talking about. I'm not just blasting it. I'm just kind of shading it off 
in the air is to make it look like more of that painterly, painterly airbrush look rather than just blasting it all, you know, the dark, dark blue, which almost looks like black. So um, we're going to continue on, work our way up through the face and through the top. Um, the horns, I'm not really messing with them right now because a lot of it is really, really dark. And I don't want to darken it out too much right now. If I need to at the end of it, I can go back through and do that. But I want to get all the details in it, get all the lighter colors in it first, and then go back through and shade it. If it needs to be darker, I'll put it darker. If it needs to be lighter, I can do that now. Because once you go, once I go dark like this, it's really, really hard to go back to get it to look like kind of like this shaded blue up here. Um, it takes a little bit more work. So I just better off just to leave it the way it is and just add in tiny, tiny details and uh, darker paints as you go along rather than just blasting it all. Because like I said, like up in the picture right here, it's really, really dark. This one's not as dark, it's got more detail. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish everything and see how it looks. And then I'm gonna go back through and you know, this one's not really detailed out like this one is. So um, I'm going back there and I'll do that. those the very last. and see how everything works out. So we're gonna keep going through, going through her face, um, kind of hitting back in these areas where it's really, really dark inside the skull right here and all of her hair and things like that. And we're just gonna go through. Um, it, won't, it shouldn't take as long as what everything else did since we got everything else in place. We're just going around picking and choosing where we wanna put it and following the reference to a T um, and just picking out the dark, dark areas. Um, you kind of want to stay away from the lighter areas. That way it gets all punched out. So we're going to keep going.
So just by going in with the uh, rover just white, and you can tell um, just a little bit of highlights here and there um, to get rid of some, pretty much what I'm doing is get rid of that overspray that I don't need um, from the light blue. Um, you can see, you kind of see in her hands. It's kind of hard to, on video to look at it, but in person you can really see, um, like right here, it's all punched out. Um, and little details, um, if you can see that in the camera, um, little details like that. It just kind of, you're chiseling away that lighter blue that was already on here. And now you are, I'm in this uh, area to where I can go back to that lighter blue and just start adding to this and adding details up in here and like the horn and stuff. And then I can go back to the white and go back and through and chisel. And you can just keep layering that on layering and layering, layering, go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until it really, really gets that definition that you want throughout the whole thing. And then at the very end, what I'll do is I'll go back to that really dark, dark blue and any overspray that I got inside of those areas. Um, I did somewhere like uh, some of the roses, like right here, you can see where the overspray kind of went. I can go back in with that dark blue and chisel that back out to that really dark blue and it'll really give it that really sharp edge that I want in certain areas. So I'm gonna keep going back and forth over this and I'll show you guys exactly the end product and then we'll go back to that dark blue and chisel it all out. So that's it, That's this panel's done. Um, what I did was just, I went back and forth a couple times with the really light blue and the uh, reduced white. And I just started adding textures, um, going directly off the photo. Um, when you're doing female faces, it's really good to have a reference because female skin is really, really soft. So you really don't have to add very, very much. It takes very little paint um, to be able to get a smooth gradient um, blend in there. You don't want to go too heavy on them because they, they're really, really soft touches. So um, always, I always over reduce my paint on any type of face portrait I do just to get that really smooth, buttery, um, textury looking skin on a, what females have. So um, that's just a little trick I've learned um, over the course of doing this. So um, I'm calling this panel done, like I said. I think it turned out really, really great. Um, we pretty much have this panel left. We got Kong over here done, and we got this little panel here. Um, what I'm trying to do is get this thing done. We got um, seven, 13 days, I think. It's the 27th, so we don't have very much more. Um, we got like a week and a half left before the stuff has to be done. My initial thought was to airbrush everything, um, but I might mess around with some pin striping on that silver panel, or maybe whip up like some low rider graphics or something on it, um, just to get it done pretty quick. Um, but we're moving right along. I might, if I have extra time, I might do one more. I still haven't received the mini hoods or the skateboards yet. So I doubt I'm going to have any time to do something on those, which is a bummer because I was wanting to do at least one of those. Um, but we'll do three panels for now. Um, do both of them together. And then what I'll do is um, I'll put my signature at the bottoms of these and then um, we'll get them clear coated all at the same time. So next one's going to be this one. Thanks for watching guys and make sure you subscribe. Um, things are just gonna keep getting better from here on out. I'm trying to push out as much content as possible, but with this stuff, it does take a long time. Like this blue panel we just got done, the blue and white one. I've got about six hours total in it and I'm usually working on between like an hour and two hours a piece every night after work, trying to get these things done. So it takes, you know, four or five days just for me to do a small panel like that. Um, so make sure you like to get this channel growing so that way I can constantly do this stuff. Um, 
and create more so you guys are have something to watch every day that's my my goal is to have something almost new every day out but like i said it does take some time doing this stuff it's no joke it's a lot of work um even though at the end result it doesn't look like a lot of work but it is it's a ton of work to get this stuff just the way i want it i'm really really picky so that's just how i am i want things to be almost perfect so we're going to start pumping more stuff out after this silver panel well, the next videos will be the silver panel like i said and then we'll do a video of everything clear coated with uh, all the signatures and everything on them and then we'll deliver them and go to the event so thanks for watching and see you next time